I am very grateful for CBMW. I was not involved uh, with it at the very beginning, but uh, you know, people like John Piper and Wayne Grudem and the few others who began it back in 1987, they had a vision of something that was really significant because there was this divide taking place within evangelicalism uh, with, uh, I mean, frankly, from our vantage point, people who were uh, working hard at reinterpreting Bible passages in order to accommodate a cultural understanding of role of women uh, that they were bringing to the Bible uh, versus being faithful to what the Bible actually said. And of course that issue in itself is important, just on its own. It's a very important issue uh, for how you function in the home and in the church. But then beyond that you realize that people who uh, worked hard to reinterpret the Bible because of cultural pressure on that issue um, are the same ones who likely do that in other areas as well. And of course we've seen that borne out. So for CBMW to be there to uphold the truthfulness of Scripture and to interpret it in a, in a way that honored the authorial intended meaning of those texts was really an important thing. And it has, it has just benefited the church, the evangelical church, so very much. As the issues now have broadened uh, beyond merely questions of role of women in ministry and in the home uh, to other issues of gender and sexuality, here is CBMW again, you know, take, taking the leadership and trying to provide definition, clarity, and biblical fidelity uh, in order to address things. And so, thanks be to God. Uh, for the wonderful work CBMW has done. It's been a privilege for me to be a little part in it, uh, but I'm a big supporter. Uh, a little contributor, yes, but a big supporter of what CBMW has done.